Hello YouTube, this is GoG73 from YouTube, and since I've seen a whole bunch of my friends' collection videos, I might as well show you one of my own, since I could, you know, give toy reviews and stuff like that. Anyways, here we go. Starting off first is, um, the stuff I got at G-Fest 16. First we have Mega Gears from the, uh, Godzilla vs. Mega Gears pack, and in its good, uh, color. I really like that. Then we have Larva Mothra from the Godzilla Island series. And next to her we have Degarla from the um, Rebirth of Mothra 2 pack. And yeah, I might auction this up for YouTube because I bought another version on, uh, I mean, auctioned it up on eBay since I got another version on eBay. So, um, yeah, but that's it. Then there's, uh, Godzilla 2000 here, with its purple dorsal fins and green skin. Next him, we have uh, King Ghidorah from Bandai, as and Godzilla 2000 is also from Bandai. Then next to Ghidorah, we have Godzilla 1954, who's also from Bandai, as well as Orga, who is also from Bandai, and I got him for like $40, which is really, really hard to come by, and he works pretty great, too. And now on to... The 1974 Godzilla, which I use in the Godzilla and His Amazing Friends series. And next to him we have, who else? Ultraman. I might buy a new figure of him because he has some sort of unusual foot problem where he bends forward. And, like, if you leave him alone for too long, he'll fall over. So I might have to end up buying a new one. And, uh, moving on. Up here we have Mothra from the, uh, 2004 Final Wars series in the 6-inch. And, uh... Yeah, I got it from Monster Valley Toys. Onward. Some stuff I got on uh, eBay. I got uh, Gizora. It's a 3-inch. Um, would be cool if it were a 6-inch, but this makes it a lot more accurate in size comparison to the other monsters. But anyways, next we have a 6-inch Mogira, who's pretty hard to come by, and I got him for like $50, too. Next to him, we have a set of... The Gotengo from the, uh, Final War series. I got that from Monster Valley Toys. And next, we have Destroyer, the Bandai Creations Destroyer from the latest set. And right behind him, we have the Hi-Fi Gamera. And, yeah, that's that. Right next to us is a big line of Godzilla toys, starting first with the Hi-Fi Godzilla which I got at a really early G-Fest, don't remember where. Behind him is, uh, old Treadmaster's Mecha King Ghidorah that separates, I think. No, it's a different version. Anyways, next to him I have, uh, GMK Bandai Creation Godzilla. Uh, funny story if I ever have to review him, which I think is unlikely, but, yeah. Behind him we have some sort of pen version of the... 98 Geno, and next to him we have Bandai Creations Rodan, and in front of him is, well, not Bandai, uh, Treadmasters Rodan, and, uh, Old Roaring Mega Godzilla 2, also from Treadmasters. Next to him we have an old, uh, Treadmas two Treadmasters version of Violante, and in between them is, uh, Treadmasters Godzilla Wars Gigan. And last, n next to him, is, uh, Treadmaster's Space Godzilla. But, yeah. And, getting back to the front, next to GMK Bandai Creations Godzilla, is the Final Wars Godzilla, which I got, I believe, at G-Fest 15. Or something. Next we have another Treadmaster's Mecha King Ghidorah. I think he's from the Godzilla Wars Power-Up series, because he can separate and he has guns there. Next to him I have Jet Jagar from the uh, Bandai series. And of course next to him is the famous Godzilla 1968 version, also from Bandai. And next to him is Hedora, who is from normal Bandai. Next to him is a black space Godzilla from Bandai Creations. I might also end up putting him on auction on eBay if I ever order a blue one with the right color. Next to him is another Bandai Creations 
Godzilla. This time the uh, 1954 Godzilla. Behind him is a really, really old Godzilla figure I had. I think it was of the uh, 64, but I don't remember. And next to him is Burning Godzilla, who is from Bandai Creations. And one of my favorite of all time Godzillas is the power-up Godzilla without his armor. I lost it somewhere. Who is from Treadmasters. And behind him is King Caesar, who is becoming really hard to come by now, who is from Bandai. And in between them is Titanosaurus, also from Bandai. As well as Destroya, who is also from Bandai. And Final Wars Gigan, who is from Bandai. And Mechagodzilla, who is also from Bandai. And right behind him is Showa Gigan from Bandai Creations. And right here is Mechagodzilla Power from the Godzilla Voice Treadmasters series. And right behind him is Kiryu from Bandai. And this figure is supposed to be Godzilla 1955, a special set where this color and uh, Showa Angrith with a red, um, with the front is red. But yeah, hard to come by. I want him at a Co for at the costume contest at G-Fest 14. And behind him is Bandai Creations Mechagodzilla 2. And finally on there is Bandai Creations Godzilla Final Wars. Without further, we have Godzilla 2000 from Bandai Creations. And even higher is a really huge Space Godzilla from Treadsmasters. He's Pretty cool. I got him long ago, and I've had him since. And even higher is Bandai Creations GMK King Ghidorah. Um, I don't know if I'll ever use him in the series, but yeah, I never really liked the GMK Ghidorah that much. Even higher still is a very clear version of the Son of Godzilla Godzilla with Minya riding on his tail. And at the very top is Bandai Creations Rainbow Mothra, which is very unusual to come by since Rebirth of Mothra is not that po popular in the uh, America. And now moving on to, to more towards the bottom is of course my popular Chief S. Godzilla head from the costume. And onwards I have uh, Angris from the 1990s. I think it was Godzilla Island. I don't know if I want to sell him or not because he looks perfectly fine scaling wise but this uh, paint wear on the snout really bothers me. I might end up going over it with some gold later on. And then we have Final Wars Rodan, who I also use from the uh, Final Wars. And from Bandai. And I use him for the Godzilla and His Amazing Friends series. And next to him is Showa Gamera, who I got at a G-Fest. I think it was pretty recent. Behind him is Daimajin. I got him in a box set at, um... Monster Valley Toys, ironically extremely cheap for how rare he is to find. Next to him are 8-inch Jiger and 8-inch Berugon, which were hard to come by, and I got them on eBay. And on top of them is Gauss. Hyper Gauss. All these guys are, all these guys are from Bandai. Forgot to mention that. And behind him is uh, Final Wars Minya, and in front of him is... Uh, Really old, inaccurate design for the Ultra 7 monster, Agira. Oh yeah. And behind all these guys is Bandai Creations Final Wars, Godzilla, and Kiryu, still in their box. Haven't taken them out yet for... I don't know what reason. And moving on, this might be hard to see, is uh, old Treadmasters figure of Godzilla and Gigan. Gigan from the, Final, well, from the Godzilla Wars series. And my oldest figure, a uh, 1964 version of Godzilla. And in the shadow, if you can see it, is a Bandai Creations Godzilla 1968. And the um, Godzilla 2002 from the uh, Godzilla against Mechagodzilla movie. And downwards, I have a figure of Gino from when that movie was the shit back then. And next to him, I have Hedora from Bandai Creations. 